our application should be smart enough to take only the right data from the user. We call it as a validation. Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power. This is the part fifth of our Moldover series. In this video, we will see how we can implement the validation on the forms of our dataverse because form is an interface through which the user are going to feed their data. If the data is not correct, then the form should raise the error or if any type of functionality needs to be happen, it should happen or at the same time or on the front screen itself so that user can easily understand that. So as this business rule is of capability of the data words, so we will set up a business rule which would be used as, as a validation and it's the out of the box capability. So let me just take you to my screen. Okay, so here we are in our solution. We have one model driven and a student table. So let's take an example. My student table and this is my model driven app if i open my new student i can see there is a form which has the student photo the name date of birth and email let's take example based on the value that the user is passing on the name or maybe in the age some action needs to perform on the email field okay so let an example if the age is greater than 5 the email sh field should be enabled if the age is less than 5 then email field should be disabled this is nothing just a validation so how we can implement that in our data words so let's go back to the solution and select our table once you open your table here you can see in the customization section you have this business rule again i'm repeating myself business rule is a out of the box capability of dataverse to implement the validation that needs to happen on the table columns so we'll open the business rule and we'll create a new business rule there are many ways to implement this validation whether you want to show or hide any column whether you want to show some sort of uh, error whether you want to populate some values based on the other column values or anything that you want to use okay so this is nothing just the business rule designer screen here you can pass your business rule name so we can give a name as if age let me write if age greater than five unlock or maybe disable the email I'm using the name so that I can understand what this business rule is doing. You can write any name, maybe business rule one, anything, but I wrote this one. Now, what is my condition? Here you can see, this is the display name of my condition, which entity, as this is inside the data, dataverse table, so you can't change this one. Okay, and here is the rule. What sort of rule you want to implement here? So. I want to implement my age here's my age field it is coming from the entity equals I want it to be less than value 5 what it should do here you can see we have some sort of actions that can be used to perform this validations so we can see we have set visibility business required set default value if we can set some default value also set 
field value show error lock and unlock so let's say we lock or, or unlock our column which column we want to lock or unlock we want this email column to lock if the value if the age is less than 5 if it is greater than 5 then we want the same column to unlock you go back and then make it as unlock once you hit on this apply let me check my condition okay i have i forgot to save like whenever you write your condition you need to save it okay is less than five here sh you should have apply just paste it and again whenever you add any action you need to save it or apply it okay go back to the email make it lock and as i'm applying my conditions i can see some code is writing here and then my next was this one maybe okay let me do this select this one unlock and then apply let me expand this now i can see if age is less than five then it would lock the email if it is greater than five it will unlock that email now i hit on this apply apply is already done now at the top i have this save button validate scope so save is just to save this business rule validate is, is it is validating whether the business rule is correct it is validating all the uh, fulfilling all the requirements and all a scope it's something that needs to be considered a scope you will find entity all forms new form and the new student form and the information form so entity is like where your business rule will work whether you want it to work on the entity level whether you want it to work on all your forms where you will find these two columns your age and your email and you can select any specific form also where you want this business rule to work if you if you have around two to three forms and in all forms you have used this these two con these two fields email and age and you want this rule to work only on a single form then you can select that specific form rest you can select all forms or entity okay so i i want this to work only on one form which is my student form if you remember this is my student form here from i can check now i have select this one now i click on this save it will take a little time in processing you can also add some description if you want to i have taken very basic example of this but if you want to build some complex validation you can use all these actions as per your requirement okay and now as my business rule is saved i need to activate it in order to make it work so i'm just activating it and let's wait so now as i have added this it doesn't matter in which model driven i have used this form but if uh, this form is there then this business rule will work please make a note that for now business rule won't work if you are using this form inside your power page site okay there this business rule won't work i'm activating this now i can see i have this deactivate option you can't edit any business rule without deactivating it you need to first deactivate it then only you can add it or can do some customization in your business rule okay so it is an activated state so i can see its effect in my application because my application is using these form 
now let me check okay so here you can see my age is zero and this email is totally locked i can't write any value but if this age is greater than five you can see my email is unlocked i can write anything okay this is the validation because okay now let me first change this okay this validation is coming because the data type of email is email and whatever text i have passed here is not an actual email address that's why it is it has given this error okay so that's how you can use or create the business rules for your dataverse table forms you can also see if in order to make the condition you have so many options to build it let me deactivate it and then once you deactivate it, you can see all options are enabled now and now i can start editing how you want it to work whether it's the business process or the entity level which field you want it to work if you select business process which process okay so these are the possible ways or the possible options that you can use to make your app would have some validations okay so thank you all thanks for watching this video let me recall in this video we have used how we can create the business rule and how that business will work we understood the scope concept of business rule okay and we have seen how many options are available in order to make a validation through out of the box functionality of dataverse